hello everyone welcome to my channel once again and in this video i will show you how you can deploy and host uh, my team project atlas md in a railway platform this will be a lot more easier than any other boards you have deployed on railway before so without wasting any time let's get started to the video and before going to the video there are basically two requirements uh, first one is a six months old github account that github account will be required to verify from railway platform because uh, if you don't have a six months old github account then it will ask you to add your credit card okay so i assume that you have a uh, a six months old github account first you have to go to our bots official github repo and link will be provided in the description so after going into this uh, you have to click on this fork button uh, let me zoom in okay you have to click on this fork button and after clicking on this fork button what it will do it will create a copy and it will send into your account okay and you can see that uh, it has copied from uh, our source account to my second account and here it's done now what you have to do just scroll down and here you can see that deploy to railway button just click on this button okay and wait for two seconds now uh, in atlas section uh, you have to put after atlas some garbage value okay so now next thing you have to do is click on this three pre-configured environment variables just click on it you have to modify this so in session id session id is basically a tricky thing okay uh, in session id you have to put any random string i am putting okay. and don't forget to keep it copied i am copying it because this will, this will work as an otp when you will trying to get the qr in the mod section in the mod uh, i have shown here that how you can add multiple mods uh, here 91 is my country code and this one is number and you can add multiple numbers in this manner by following this manner you can add multiple numbers and you can add even more numbers separated by comma okay so and now next one is uh, mongodb uh, I will recommend you to use your own MongoDB cluster if you have any and if you don't have you can use mine but if you use this public one then you might get some issues like character change issues etc and in prefix prefix is basically you can put anything you like minus slash star plus hash etc but I like minus so I am using it so after filling up everything it's done now click on this deploy button and just wait for uh, at least 10 to 15 seconds and it will start deploying while it is deploying you have to go to settings and click on this generate domain button okay just click on it and wait for some time okay the domain is generated now uh, click back to the deployments section and the deployment will start in couple of seconds so just wait for it to get started okay so deployment has been started and you have to wait for it uh, you can also click on these view logs and see the process so deployment is done and you can see that it is started uh, giving the QR code so how you can use it you have to click on this domain okay just click on this domain and if you see this thing that one moment then you have to just wait for uh, two to three minutes and it will start hosting our page into this domain okay so you have to just wait for uh, at least three to four minutes okay so it ha our web page has been appeared so now what you have to do is you have to paste the session that you set uh, while hosting the bot okay so that session id you have to put here and click on the get qr button so before clicking on this button uh, let me come into my phone screen so what you have to do is at first uh, go into your whatsapp go into three dots click on link device and now link a device and now click on this get qr button and scan this qr through your smartphone okay you can see that it's logging me in okay it is now connected 
and if I go into the railway and you can see that it is started receiving messages so let me test the bot for you that whether it is working or not and you know that uh, I set it to minus the prefix let's test so now what is started receiving messages and you can see the logs also so let me test the help command so what is working totally fine so let's try to change the character so you have to just choose anything you want I am choosing suppose Makima MD so just choose it ok so the default character is now Makima so let's test so here you can see that bots uh, bots footer and bots image video also everything changed into Makima and uh, you can uh, you can enable or disable chatbot also so this is the command to enable chatbot inside a group now just turn it on you can also read through the total help list so now I am testing that whether chatbot is working to use chatbot you have to uh, mention any bots messages and bot will reply to that you can see that bot is replying to me so bot is working so let's test the play features that is banned in railway suppose I am playing these songs ok yeah, so you can see uh, let's download the audio So audio is coming and let's test the video also so you can see that bot is totally working in railway platform so uh, let me test the sticker comments also just mention in images and type minuses so you can see that uh, everything is working fine and this bot has around uh, 300 comments and also 100 plus NSFW features so you can explore it more and this is our bot's official source code this is the process of deploying our team project atlas md in your group so i hope this video was as easy as possible i was able to make you understand the whole process so if you are watching this until the end then thanks for watching this video and let's meet in next video Thank you.